on the right over there, just on that log. A little bit to the left. Uh, the other left. <laughs> there we go. There they are. It's actually a trio of them, but the two of them I was watching were these two. And the one on the left was feeding. What I assume is quite a large juvenile, or potentially a female, I suppose. Although there's one scruffy feather sticking out of place that suggests perhaps it has slowly but surely started, not not started, basically completed the growth of its adult feathers. Another creature along with squirrels with a high vantage point and a raucous, raucous alarm call. And I always think they look so prehistoric when they run along the branches. When I was a small child, look, see how it's following? There we go, there we go. Definitely an almost fully grown young Lurie. Grey go waybird is what they're actually called nowadays. When I was a small child, I was convinced that there was nothing I wanted more at one point than a grey go waybird as a pet. So at uh, roughly, I don't know, seven or eight years old, I constructed a cleverly devised trap that involved basically the old cardboard box and a stick and a piece of string routine with some food laid out underneath it. And I caught this go away bird eventually after many, many hours of sitting patiently in my garden. And I took one look at this poor thing's utter panic in that cage that I constructed and I immediately set it loose. And the guilt followed me around for years afterwards. I was so terribly upset at that. Of course, shortly after that, I received a baby mouse bird, baby speckled mouse bird from somebody in my class who believed that I would probably be a better mother than she was, I assume. And she gave me this go away bird, and its name was Pidgey, because apparently I had no imagination at eight years or ten years old. And Pidgey used to come to class with me and sit under my hair. Luckily, I had a very tolerant teacher. I used to get up in the middle of the night and feed it. I still to this day don't know if it was a he or a she. And then Pidgey died one day, completely unexpectedly, while I was feeding her, or him. I was convinced that I'd choked it, and that was the end of Jamie's bird raising career. So there you go. A little bit of history into Jamie's psyche. I never raised another bird after that.